So sometimes I like to read my Bible first. Sometimes I like to read my devotional first. Sometimes I like to just pray. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. But today I chose to start with my devotional. And so I read a page out of that. And then I followed up with going to the passages in the Bible and reading further. So as you guys see right here, I'm about to flip to a random page in my daily devotional. And some people like to read it from front to back, but I like to flip to a random page. But this will make a lot more sense why this is so significant that this is a random page later on in the video. So like I said before, next what I'll do is I'll go ahead and follow up with reading further in the passages in the Bible. So after I read the Bible, I like to write a daily takeaway in my journal that I've been doing for about two to three years now. And this is actually how I've been writing the devotional book that I've been writing right now. And so yeah, so I'll take sort of basically what the understanding that I got from the day and I'll write it down so that I can share it with somebody later on. And so now here comes the significance of this being a random page. And so basically last night, me and my friend Jordan Duncan had a conversation that lasted around three hours. And basically what we were talking about is giving with a whole heart and how God will provide at all times. And what I mean by this is when we give to people, we shouldn't feel like we should receive something. We should give to people and give God all of the glory and he will provide. Guys, money is just money. And once you realize that, it becomes like it's not a problem. And so basically I call Jordan and I tell him this excitement and I show him how God's timing just makes so much sense. And it just encourages us to read the word more and to just be on fire for the Lord even more. So I encourage you guys to do the same thing. But yeah, here's the clip of me calling Jordan. Hello? Yo, what up, bro? Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Bro, you remember yesterday how we had that conversation on the phone about like giving with a whole heart? Yeah. All right, so you remember how we were talking about, like, like I told you about, like, that story about the homeless lady when I gave her that 200 bucks, and, like, people were asking me, like, bro, that's so much. Like, why would you do that? And I said, um, because, like, God will provide. Like, I'm not worried about this. This is only money. Like, it's going to help her, and I promise you God will provide. And then I, next day I make, like, a 1000 bucks. Like, I told you, remember, and you were telling me all those stories? Yeah, yeah. And we were saying how we don't do this to please people and like the only reason we're sharing these stories with each other is to like show God's power and we weren't like going out here posting it and you know like blah blah blah. But so we had that whole conversation, right? And we were talking about how me and you like strive to give with a whole heart, right? Yeah. Bro, look at this is crazy. I wake up this morning, right? I'm doing a video. Like a little like first person video of how I study the Bible, right? Yeah. Like I literally have my camera on right now and I'm like showing this like whole process bro I, I sit down and i read in my book right and the first thing it, it brings me to is uh malachi 2 and then i read something and then, it, and then i go to malachi 3 bro and guess what this says right here this is insane bro we had like what like a three hour conversation last night about it yeah and then look at this this is what i read it says this it's talking about tithes um, but it says this return to me and I will return to you says the Lord Almighty But you ask how are we to return? Will a mere mortal rob God yet you rob me? This is talking about like when people don't like give their money because they want it for themselves You know and they don't give it to people in a godly way and he says this but you ask how are you robbing? How are we robbing you in the tithes and offerings? You are under a curse your whole nation because you are robbing me this right here ready bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house Test me in this. This is insane right here. Says the Lord Almighty. And see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. Oh. Bro. That's insane. We literally had the conversation last night and I told you, I said, 
if you give with a whole Dude, heart. We literally talked for like two hours. Literally. <laughs> and I said, if you give with a whole heart, don't take any of the glory of it. Give it all to God. Like when people go and post it on stories and go and post it, they're giving the glory to themselves, you know? And they're like, they're pleasing the people and making a noble stature of themselves. But if we give with a whole heart and don't do anything and just literally just give it, like, and give God all the glory, like he will return that 10 times. And like, we don't give to receive that gift from God, but like it, that comes with it because God's such a blessing God, you know? That's just insane. I mean, we yeah, literally so talked about that for like three hours, bro. Like, test me in this. You just, you just woke up this morning and just started reading that? Yeah, no, I've, I, like God put it on my heart to make a video like this. Like I just had this image in my head of like me praying over a video and like, just clips of me like reading the Bible and stuff like a mo like a basically like a motivational video of like so people can like feel motivated to get in the word and this is what happens bro I mean that's just like it's insane bro yeah Dude. tell me that's not yeah, crazy. That's, that's crazy we legit have like a we three hour conversation it happens all the time. yeah we were talking about it yeah and dude this is like right here bro this is confirmation from the Lord Remember, we were even talking about this, like how coincidences are not coincidences. Like, there's no coincidence when you're on God's path. This timing just makes sense. This is another instance of that. Like, we talk about this for three hours, and then I wake up. It's the first thing I literally randomly flip to a page in my book. I have a video of it. Randomly flip to a page, go in the, my devotional. Then I go to my Bible, and I... Huh? But isn't that wild, bro? Yeah, that's just like we literally read that I mean we talked about that for like three hours and then I wake up and this is the first thing I randomly see like how is I mean you just can't even make up a story like that but that's, that's... yeah I just wanted to tell you that this is crazy bro what are you doing with this? uh well I'm gonna go and put these clips and edit this video real quick then I'll probably head to the beach for a little bit skimboard come back I gotta finish this drawing Work on some shoes and probably read a little more, but yeah. yeah so